Sorry, before we get into anything else, we're going to be doing our second video here today on uh, 3D Vista. Uh, by the way, this is Jody. Hello. And my name is Rich. And we're kind of new to 3D Vista. We do a lot of um, 360 work, drone aerial photography, ground 360s, mapping and modeling. And 3D Vista looks like something that we might be good with. But before I go any further, because I'm going to make this a completely clipped off area here i would like to hear from the audience on this one um is this of value to you is this uh training worthwhile to you your time because we're going to take some time explaining some of these things so if this doesn't mesh with what you're usually looking for um from our channel please let me know and also let me know what you would like to see so hey there everybody i'm having a laugh at myself and jody over here is having a laugh at me as well so my name is rich this is jody hello and we're with az drone and we've been practicing and learning about 3d vista um we're still new to it so when you're watching our videos keep in mind i'm a novice and jody's a novice just like you i'm a novice plus she's a novice plus she, she not quite intermediate yeah she might be sneaking around when we're not on camera um, learning additional stuff. So in our last video, we set up 3D Vista and um, started setting up for a um, an aerial photography uh, virtual light through, yeah virtual tour, and then uh, also getting the images in for a interior tour. Now we stopped this early in lesson one. We stopped it early because we didn't want to make you. Nobody wants to watch 18 images being linked together. You kind of get the idea after the first three or four. And then a bunch of additional interior images as well. Mm -hmm. So if you watched the last video, which you should if you're watching this series, um, we stopped it and we told you why. And so we're going back in here and I just want you to take note. Uh, let me just zoom in here. Eight out of 26. So we had 18 outdoor. And so another eight interior. Yep. And um, so we learned a couple of things. Number one, Jody uh, made an interior walkthrough separate from this main presentation the other day. And it's just a basic walkthrough. We didn't, I didn't cover every single room because this is just to give you an idea. So you don't need to see the whole house. Yeah, no, no. But you also ran into a problem. Um, you tried to make a standalone version of the, the interior panos, and then you tried to link it yeah. from exterior to in interior, and it, it wouldn't link them. I don't know if it's it could just be user error, mm -hmm. but I wanted to make the interior walkthrough by itself, and then just have a link from the aerial tour to the in in interior walkthrough, and no. It, uh, it doesn't. I'm sure if I had built it all. Hmm. I wonder if you build it first and have that saved. So publish it and have it saved. And then, I wonder if then you could use that as an import. Well, but we haven't done that. So yeah. don't do that yet. We will try it. And if you try it um, and you find a way, please let us know and we'll add yeah. it into some of our videos. OK, so right now, everything's kind of just blocked into this one uh, project here. So we've got the project. And we've got the playlist and we've got one other project as well. But um, so this is the whole. It's show. basically the whole tour. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go over on the left side and click just on the first tour item. So like we did the other week when we set up this first one, we've mm -hmm. got our uh, we've got our drone images from uh, flying all over the location. I'm just taking a look around here right now. Um, if you look up at panoramas, um, it's panoramas and settings. Mm -hmm. So we could set this as the initial viewpoint or uh, set this as the initial viewpoint. So you're going to want to go through the uh, settings just a little bit, but we're not going to kill you with that right now because we already saw some of that in the last video. Mm -hmm. All right. I keep looking to Jody because she's assembling these things. So I'm, I'm just along for the ride. I'm learning and I haven't thrown my computer out the window yet. So, I mean, it's all right so far. So far. Um, now, to really get into the, the, the meat and potatoes here, you're going to want to be in your panoramas and hotspots, right? This is. Yeah. 
that's hot spots. That's if you're not in hot spots, you're going to get really frustrated really fast why you're not being able to connect to the next image. Yep. So hot spots for the panoramas. And so you saw in the last video how we dragged an image out onto another image. And what I'm looking at right now in the upper right corner, because we're on hot spots, is there is a go to uh, blankety blank blank uh, tour dash two. So it's a big long name there, but that is the um, the one that's right out here. Uh, so that's basically our number two. And so we've got that go to uh, dash two over here. So that is the correct one. So I shouldn't see any other blinkies here for the moment. Nope. nope. So that's good. We're doing good. And uh, what we want to do next, most likely, this is we're sitting on number one. And you can see it right over here. So I'm going to just click on to number two here real quick. Now, there's a reason why I'm clicking on here. Right, Jody? Yeah, this is where I basically, <clears throat> this is where I connected the uh, interior of number 43 to the rest of the aerial tour. Yeah. So we could go through this whole aerial tour if you guys want. Um, uh, you saw it getting assembled. So now um, we have links through everything. So where we stopped last time, um, we've added mm -hmm. all those links. We also added the interior tour. Yep. So the hot spots don't just have to be these circle things or an animated icon. Or yeah, that. I'm not a fan of that particular hot spot, but I mean, there's so many to choose from. And of course, you can upload your own, make your own, download from um, the 3D Vista store. Uh, store actually yeah. has a lot of different hot spots, but the free ones aren't that great. Yeah. And so make your own hotspots. Mm -hmm. Bring your own beer, make your own hotspots. But so we can go through each and every one of these. And but we don't have to. We're not going to bore you. Like we said previously, we're not looking to bore you here. Just help you get started with this. So there's our link back. All right, let's go back to two because that's where you did some extra work. You can do more of the hotspots. We've seen drag and drop, but you can also draw polygons. Um, you can drop down text boxes that are linkable. Mm -hmm. um, you could use an image, or, but that's also where the other hotspots are. But you yeah. can make your own images. We're in number two, and it tells me. So we've got um, one, two, we've got a polygon somewhere. This is just, you can use the polygon to just create a hotspot. So it's very simple. Drop corner. You can outline whatever you want. Bam. You can adjust it afterward. And then just like any hotspot, you have to make it go somewhere. So you just go over into Actions, hit the plus button. You can open an existing panorama or import uh, a brand new one. I'm not going to link this one right now because I have the entire house linked already. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that gives you the perfect idea of what to do here. Um, yep. So and you can drop these anywhere. So you just made the second polygon. You can also remove it anywhere. You can also relabel them, right? Um, oh, up in over here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah you yeah. double click just like oh, yeah, yeah, you, you can go. double click and yeah. type what you want. Because otherwise I'm just like polygon. polygon. And then oh. with the eyeball, you can hide it. Yeah. Or if you're afraid of moving it somewhere, you lock it and now it's not going to move. That's what which, I was asking yep. you about before. Uh, but since we're not using that particular polygon. We'll yeah. Go ahead and get rid, of get rid of it. So this one is connected to right here. Okay. Pano number 16, which because it was the last one I shot. Yeah. So you can go over here. So this is now grabbing all the extra ones that she that we yep. shot the other day. So here's the the front of the house. And of course, I have my return to the aerial tour because you otherwise there's no way to get back. Yeah. And there we are at the door and the door is translucent green. Yeah. What's happening? So um, I like using this is one of the reasons that I like 3D Vista is because of this polygon tool. So I made the little door, you know, you can put it to, I like being able to adjust it after the fact. Um, you can make it whatever color you want. And so it's it like, you know, use whatever you want. So you have your fill color, your line color, and you can adjust the thickness of the lines and the opacity and all that stuff. Um, I'll just set it back down to that. Yeah, maybe so, a different fill color. Yeah, well, I just, I think I changed it inside too. So we can go with like a red, just something so that people know. Hey, icons. there's a, yeah, there's a. Something. But then you also don't have a big icon that people can either miss 
or that's blocking something else in the house. So yeah, let's go look at the second one so, that you have. So you've I mean, got obviously, more going right, on. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is what puzzle. I yeah. So there's that to link to the living room kitchen. Here's back out to the uh, front porch. The <laughs> yeah, no back out to the front porch, front door. Yeah. Um, and then this, of course, was that little room, which is this one. Yep. So so we're showing several links now. Yes. And it depends on where you are in the building. And that hot spot drop that you did, that was a good idea. So what I like to do is I like to have some sort of hot spot that is very obvious you're going forward and something different so that when the client or whoever is looking at the virtual tour leaves the room, they know, oh, now I'm going backwards. Hmm. So that's why I have the little blinky spot there. Um, yeah. And it's got its link already. Yep. So. And that's all linked. And that's that in course. the upper right corner for those of you who yep. are looking on the screen right. there. Yep. yep. So there's that. So yeah, now you're in. Uh... So then I go back out to here. Let's say we want to go to the living room. Let's click on that. And so right. here, because there are no, no door. So I see the. I see the. Yep. I put that there because, well, there's no door. You don't want to just a big. Yeah, you don't make a block. You don't right. want just a rectangle just floating around. So that's um, a, that's a nice one to the kitchen counter there. But and there's another one. Oh, there's this. I missed the owner's nicely labeled, and you can do the drop shadow and all that on here too. Um, oh, are we missing something there? I didn't put a backlink. Okay, so we're missing the backlink there, but that's okay. You can drop that in easy enough. Let's do this. Pink, and I want that. And let's just uh no no I don't need a bag link uh, from that so there we go so get rid of it so there's that if I want to make it bigger that's one thing I like with this one it's not too obnoxious mm -hmm. it's not a solid one so it's you really can make it larger and it's yeah you can't not see it yeah yeah um, so now we've got that on the table so there's we've got that. the bedroom. We've got the hallway going back down. Yeah. So what if you check into yeah the master bedroom so real quick? Go into the master bedroom or whatever it's a. I already now. I already see. I like the the green that you picked there. I think it's you know it's the transparency and everything. It works. works. It's kind of subtle. And so now because you're in here, you know you can go forward into the master bath or owner's bath, whatever you want to call it, and then you have the you can exit. get out of there. Yep. I did not do a three sixty out on the porch. Um, mainly because it's all everything's dead right now. It's yeah, winter. It's all brown. But nice little labels because yeah, when you look out this window in March, April, May until like I don't know November, uh, this is all green. It's a golf course. Mm -hmm. You have the putting or the driving ranges right out there. Yeah, and then your little private door to the porch or back deck, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's little labels like that that kind of I think make it just feel look a little nicer yeah no exactly it does look nice and so with each of these you may you put your links in different places yeah and, uh, yeah all right you can make an entire uh photo album basically if you and wanted linked, to and linked off of some of these yeah so like right here right now we know it's not pretty outside it's pretty ugly say i have a really nice image to the outdoor i can go here go over to the actions make sure it's selected circle point one Go over to actions, grab that. I can open an album. Yep. Three, six, I mean, you can open any of these things just about. Mm -hmm. um, so you could just have a nice, simple image that pops up or the entire photo album. Like if there's multiple images of the exterior or other rooms or high features of the house, like mode, oh, built in stove and, you know, gas stove top and it's really fancy and nice. Well, maybe you want to kind of highlight that like so you that pop it up. Yeah. Um, it's kind of very similar in Kula. You can do the same thing. It just, yeah, this um, cloud piano, some of the other ones, you can do very similar things. Um, where where our interest came from with uh, 3D Vista is the actual 3D tools that they have. Ooh, nice. um, and we're not going to get deep into those, but that's going to be something that we're heading for soon. So can you go up just up there and go over to 3D? And we did add that one, right? Yes, we did. Yep. This is a great presenter. It allows you to do online present, you know, online presentations or offline presentations. Um, it gives us more tools than some of the other ones. We, you know, we can embed videos here. We can put 360 videos here. 
we can bring in 3D models here. Jody is pulling this out right now, just so you can see this. One of the big things that I do on the client side is I'm making 2D and 3D models of their property. What you're seeing being zoomed out right now, these are low res 3D models. They're, you, they're you not can the tell best. They're a little gloopy. <laughs> but I did not create these in 3D Vista. I no. created these in another, another program called Metashape. Some people use Blender and MeshLab and all these different 3D tools, but it is not the editor. This is where you finalize and create your presentation. And that's where you're taking, you're, you're getting your own 3Ds, you're getting your 360 videos, uh, you're getting your regular videos, you're gathering all this stuff outside of the program, okay, to make a final gorgeous presentation. So this is an awesome presenter, but you're going to have to have some knowledge of um, other other things going on here. You're going to have to have uh, knowledge about Photoshop, right? Absolutely. And maybe Lightroom for getting some of your 360s ready. And, you know, some kind of 3D rendering program. So when you see all the cool video on 3D Vista's website, they that's using other tools as well. They didn't b develop that whole thing in 3D Vista. If you're troopers and you're sticking with us for a second, um, Jody, can you go ahead and hit the preview? So this is the hazard of if you upload everything first, uh, your exteriors, your interiors, aerial, anything like that, you have 20 something photos on the list. The more that powerful your platform, the better. No. No? It has no effect. This takes no, just really. as long on my eight gigs of RAM. Okay. See what I didn't know. All right, so um, here's the tour. Let's look over. It's so it's going to be a number two. Um, a little choppy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there it we still go. Is. All right. Yeah, get down to two, oh, yeah. and then show them that you got the. Yep. So there's the um, there's the polygon that was set up, and that gets you right down into the house. And if you turn around, I just wanted to go inside. Oh yeah. So sure. yep. Did I link the door? I linked the door. Nice. And uh, so now we can get back to the aerial tour, which is right up there. We picked a good day to do those. Yeah. And so now you could start clicking all the way down through the entire exterior uh, aerial flight. In the end, 3D Vista can be displayed online through uh, their hosting service, um, through your own server. You can do that as well. Um, or you can create a package to give to Windows or Mac users, and then they can have the package uh, where they can get into it anytime they want to. Like we said, still kind of novices here, but um, getting there with it. But there's a lot of it's there's a lot of simple things you can do just to make it look neat. Like just even this little outline of the house, I think that looks neat. Yeah. Well, all right, everyone, we're gonna let you go on this one. We hope that you've enjoyed this part, and this is the uh, second session on 3d vista so that means that you decided you did want to make it through and you were interested so we hope that uh, this has been of some value to you and next one we'll start getting into some more of the complex stuff as well yes. all right everyone see you in the next video bye, bye.